I feel bad for talking about it. People have stories that go on behind the scenes that you don't always know about. I was very much encouraged by my grandpa and my dad to look at stock trading and finance. A pretty harsh environment in many ways and being battered every day and someone telling you one moment you're a genius, the next you're shit. I was eventually successful with my trading and I stayed in the company longer term and I realised that I wasn't as motivated by money as I thought I was. I also came to realise that there were maybe darker sides to an addictive personality and for me the being in London and having a lot of free events with uh, alcohol and, and whatnot provided for free and just this culture of hard fast living definitely led me into a type of person that I, I wasn't necessarily and I became pretty angry. I really regret how I treated my girlfriend at the time. It wasn't right at all. I changed who I was as a person and it was so terrible with the state that I got myself into and I thought leave, make a break. When I came back up to Sheffield, it was it was pretty tough for a, quite a long time, and it took a lot of work to try and get things better. I basically totally abandoned alcohol and just did a kind of a teetotal stop 100%. I needed to work out the compromise I had between climbing and my kind of burning desire to do this versus how would I not be totally selfish towards that and give something to a relationship. Because ultimately, underneath it all, if you, you gave me climbing, but you took away my family, which I have a wife and two daughters, I'd be a massively unhappy person. I, I think I couldn't even climb, maybe. It's too deeply ingrained in that now. So I know that I have to have both those, it's just I have to have a very different approach for either side of it. They are probably my, my biggest two kind of conflicts in terms of life. They're, they're both of them I, I love massively, and, but I have very different types of love for them, and that's very confusing for a climber who has this, these two things which are very intermeshed and very close, but are constantly in conflict. But in all truth is I think probably my climbing sits at this slightly higher level in terms of what happens in terms of the burning desire when I get up every morning. I sometimes feel, really, in fact, I feel, constantly feel guilty about it, but I do recognise who and what I am. Climbing's the only sport that I've done in my life so far where I haven't stopped and given up after a bit because I constantly perceive that I'm not good enough at it and I could always be a bit better. It constantly kind of keeps me in the process of self-improvement. psychological element to climbing which I've become more and more aware of over the years and it's down to the fact that I have such a busy mind and I'm constantly excited by this by that I want to do this I don't want to go to bed right now I'm gonna work until as late as possible I'm gonna get up as early as possible I'm gonna do I just want to do a million things and when you have that kind of mind it's actually pretty exhausting and tiring and 
you'll always suffer the downsides to that. Whereas climbing is so, so encompassing in every sense it takes you out of that. You're in this special bubble of climbing. I think nothing about all these other things. It's full switch off. It's like my system reset. And I, I don't concentrate on them, I don't stress about anything. It's almost as relaxing as sleeping. I have such a burning desire to push myself and always be a tiny, tiny little bit better. And I essentially measure that against a project. And so if I can be involved with that process and constantly doing that, that's what keeps me happy and keeps me functioning. Because climbing never stops, does it? You're moving a your foot, a hand, you're sorting something out of a belay, you may be at the bottom of the crag, you're thinking about this or that, and everything else in normal life, which is hard work, switches off. That's amazing. I really badly need that. If I stop climbing, it's not it's not good for me at all.